What's poppin' guys? So, one of my subscribers wanted me to speak on this topic a little bit. And I don't know much on it, but I googled it. I looked it up to see a little bit more. I heard of things happening about this in the past. So, we're going to talk about it. And if you guys don't know what this is, it is the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard situationship. So, some shit went down. And I didn't even know this part, but apparently Johnny Depp is being called a woman beater and all this stuff. Um, I didn't. I didn't even know he hit the girl. All I heard was they broke up. That's all I heard. And this guy wanted me to. He wanted to know like. Is Amber Heard a narcissist? And that's a good question because I would almost guarantee she is. I would almost guarantee it. Now, is it right without proof, without knowing yourself, to call somebody a narcissist without knowing the inside details? It's not. But if I was forced to make a prediction, if I was forced, to give an honest answer on this situation, I would almost say I would guarantee she is a narc. I I would believe that she did something to trigger him to hit her. I would almost guarantee it because women are crazy and not all women are crazy. Um, for the women that are watching this video, don't. Don't take it like that, but you guys know yourselves, there are some crazy ass women out there in this world. Nobody gotta disagree with that. You see them every single day on social media. You see them every single day on TikTok. You see them every single day getting exposed by other YouTubers. It is what it is. There are crazy ass women out there, very possessive, very toxic, very manipulative and Johnny Depp has no history on doing anything like this I believe once a woman beater always a woman beater and I believe somebody can make a mistake and possibly hit a girl would I ever do that hell no that's the last thing I would do I would walk away before anything like that even came close to happening but I believe she probably ruin this guy's entire world. He probably seen a future with this girl. He probably wanted a future with this girl for the rest of his life and thought it was going to be that way. She probably convinced him that it was going to be like this and it wasn't. Things probably escalated. I would say almost for sure. And something has to probably happen in order for him to do something like that. I would, that, that would be my only guess. I couldn't see any other situation where that would happen. I believe she probably is a cold-blooded predator that is able to use people for her own selfish and self-centered gains. I would almost guarantee it. Because look at her herself. She is a Hollywood actress. And not every actor in the, in the world is a narc. That's not true either, but... You see her in another movie, she's making out with an awful lot of guys. She's wealthy herself. She's got money herself. She doesn't need Johnny Depp. Amber Heard doesn't need anybody. And that's just the truth. If she was this smoking hot, good looking girl that didn't have any money herself, no fame, didn't have nothing, go nothing good going on for herself, she probably would have stuck around. It's just how it is. She probably got bored of him. She probably made up excuses. She probably made up bullshit lies to get out of this guy's life. And if you actually did hit her, do I, like, am I saying that is right? Nah. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Do I think he hit her? Probably. If it's out there in the news and the media, 
everybody's saying it. He's being he's being called a woman beater. He most likely put his hands on her, and I don't think it's right. But I do think she caused him to do this. Still doesn't make it right. But that's basically my take on this video. I would almost guarantee she is a narc. She's out for fuel. She used him for fuel as long as she possibly could have. And somewhere down the line, she got bored with him. That's enough. Were they even married? I don't even know if they were married or not. I only heard a little bit of stuff on this in the past. This has been going on for a while now. I don't even know if they were married or not, but they were a strong couple, I know that at some point, and like I said, she probably got bored, she probably needed to get out of there, she needs somebody else, she thinks she can do better for herself. Um, I think if something like this happens, I believe women should do it the best way possible because it is possible down the line to lose interest in somebody especially if somebody changes like not in a good way it's understandable you're not forced to stay with anybody you don't want to stay with for the rest of your life you're not forced to do that but she probably did shit in a very insidious way I would guess I would guess she probably didn't end things in a very positive manner. She probably didn't end things the way she should have, which caused this to happen. This is all my guess. It makes sense, doesn't it? Does it not make sense? Like shit like this happens all the time with other people that aren't even celebrities, just around the world, all the time. This is a very, this is not a rare situation. It's a very common situation. And if somebody does change for the worse and you don't like it, like they probably didn't even communicate or nothing. Like she didn't even probably communicate with this guy, letting him know like what's not good and what is good and what needs to change. Communication kills relationships. And I just think the way, a lot, not all females, but a lot, a way, the, way, the way a lot of females end relationships is very it's dark like it's very disrespectful a lot of the times the way a lot of females in relationships not all but a lot of them it just is they don't it's like they keep everything inside and they don't say anything so how would somebody know how to change something you know what I mean? They would never know, and all of a sudden, <clears throat> she's leaving. But with that being said, it probably wouldn't even matter anyways, because whoever this girl I'm speaking of is, which could be anybody in this world, she was most likely planning on leaving whoever this dude is anyways. We're just talking about make-up people right now. This, this, this could be anybody we're speaking of. I believe if a girl wanted it to work, if she wants it to work, she's going to make it work. I believe some of these women have this all planned out in their minds already. And they're planning that escape. Whether this dude likes it or not, they're getting out. They see something else better. It doesn't matter what this dude does to change. They want something else, and women usually get what they want. Not all, but some do, and it's the way it's going to be. But anyways, um, that is my take on the Johnny Depp Amber Heard situationship here. Let me know what you guys think, and I also seen that like Johnny Depp's life is going to shit right now, and all this stuff, and like he's just not doing well. Understandable, but. It is what it is, right? That's why you can't depend on anybody else for your happiness. You have to stay open as a person no matter what. And when I say that, I mean you have to 
you have to know things can go wrong. You can't see somebody as forever because nothing is forever. You can see this person like you want to be with them. You're choosing to be with them, but you don't. You shouldn't like look at somebody like they're yours, like you own them because nobody owns anybody. People make a decision to be together in a healthy manner and things can happen. That's just the way it is. If you want to be with somebody, you got the choice to be with somebody. If you don't want to be with somebody, you have a choice to leave. The problem is a lot of people do it in a very toxic, dark, manipulative, unfair way, which I don't respect. When people do it in a respectful way, you can understand it. It's understandable. You know what I mean? But some people just have no sympathy. Some people just are like that and forever will be like that. And it's because they can't even put it into words themselves. Because if they did put it into words, they would have to tell the truth and say, You know what? I was using you this whole time. And I want something better than you. I want something else. I was just using you. I knew I wasn't going to be with you forever. So, I'm going to leave now. See ya. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's why some girls don't explain what they do. Because that's why they do it. And guys, too. So, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this take. I got another video to do, so I will do that. I'll be back.